The hunt for Brian Laundrie is heating up. He's been on the run since 22-year-old Gabby Petito's body was found in a Wyoming park. Charles Watson is live in Northport, Florida, as the fugitive sister makes a stunning admission. Charles. Hi, Carly. Brian Laundrie's sister, Cassandra, said she had not seen him since he returned from that trip out west on September 1st without Gabby Petito. Now we're learning Cassandra may have seen him once more. Laundrie family attorney Stephen Bertolino tells Fox News the last time Cassandra saw Brian was actually September 6th, five days later in a statement. Bertolino says... Law enforcement agencies are well aware of these dates. Any prior communications by Casey that does not reflect these dates is simply a difference of relating an answer to a question misinterpreted by Cassie or poorly posed by the inquirer. But here's what Cassandra Laundrie told Good Morning America last month. I haven't been able to talk to him. I wish I could talk to him. This morning, Callahan Walsh, the co-host of In Pursuit with John Walsh, said he believes the family got caught in a lie. I think this is just another excuse. Uh, they got caught in a lie. I hope she's telling the truth. Uh, you know, I hope she's working with law enforcement as she's saying she is. But with this discrepancy in the timeline, it's not adding up to yeah. great stuff. <laughs> Now, this September 6th meetup between Brian and his sister Cassie coincides with a camping trip the Laundry family took at the DeSoto Park Campground in St. Petersburg, Florida. Documents reveal the Laundries checked into the campground on September 6th and left on September 8th. And that was a week, about a week before the family reported Brian Laundry missing. Of course, the FBI has been trying to retrack his steps. He, of course, he is uh, charged with bank fraud and he is also considered a person person of interest in the death of his girlfriend, Gabby Petito. Carly? Uh, another twist in this case. Charles, thank you for tracking it all. We'll keep following it. Appreciate it. All right. Um, let's go to Charles Watson right now with more on uh, uh, Brian Laundrie and the search for him. It's been going on for weeks now, and still they don't appear to be making any progress, but I might be missing something, Charles. What's happening? Well, no, Brian Laundrie's sister, Cassandra, you, you'll remember she told Good Morning America in an interview a month ago that she had not seen her brother since September 1st. Now we're learning she saw him at least once more. The Laundrie family attorney, Stephen Bertolino, telling Fox News in a statement that the last time Cassandra saw Brian was actually September 6th, five days later. In a statement, he tells Fox News, quote, law enforcement agencies are well aware of these dates. Any prior communication by Cassie, that does not reflect these dates is simply a difference of relating an answer to a question misinterpreted by Cassie or poorly posed by the Inquirer. This alleged September 6th meetup between Brian and his sister coincides with the camping trip the Laundry family took at the DeSoto Park Campground in St. Petersburg, Florida. Documents reveal the Laundries checked into the campground on September 6th and left on the 8th. Meantime, newly released body cam footage by the Moab Police Department shows an emotional Petito speaking with police during a suspected domestic incident weeks before her disappearance. Take a listen. So there's two people that came to us and told us that they saw him hit you. There's two people saying that they saw him punch you. We're just independent witnesses by Moonflower. Well, to be honest, I wasn't hit him first. Where'd you hit him? I slapped him. You, you slapped him first? And then what, just on his face? You get to clean your shut up. On that same video, uh, conversations heard between responding officers indicate they believed Gabby's story but didn't want to apply Utah's mandatory domestic violence arrest law because they didn't believe it applied in this case. Now, the department, uh, the Moab City Police Department, uh, says it is conducting an in-depth investigation into, into how its officers handled that domestic dispute. Meantime, the FBI and multiple other law enforcement agencies continue their search for Brian Laundry. Again, Neil, he is wanted on bank fraud charges and is still considered a person of interest in the death investigation of Gabby Petito. Neil. Charles Watson, thank you very much for that, Charles. I want to update you on the president. He's in Wilmington dating right now.